What's up guys, welcome back to MiggyTube TV. As you guys can see by that intro, I've been a little bit busy and I've been having some fun. Two weeks ago, I traveled to South Africa to a program called Living with Big Cats. It's a program through Volunteer South Africa where we take care of animals. It's just a wonderful experience. What I want to do in this video is basically show you guys what a day is like volunteering at this program called Living with Big Cats. To start off, I would wake up every morning pretty early and I would greet the horses, the donkeys, and even the old pony called Granny. <laughs> After that, everybody has to be up at 8 a.m. to clean the elephant pen or the horse stables. What's really cool is that once a week you get to wake up really early and walk with the elephants. My name is Jimmy and I'm from the, the Netherlands. I participated in the end of the walk and it isn't until afterwards that you realize how unique and awesome that experience is. Now after you're done walking with the elephants and cleaning the stables, you do break for breakfast around 9 a.m. for about an hour, but then when you come back, it's right back to work. On this particular day, we had to dig holes next to the lion enclosure because we are gonna make a larger holding pen for the lions. It's pretty hard work, especially when it's about 90 degrees outside but you feel really good when you're done because you realize you're doing something that's going to benefit these amazing animals. At around 12.30 we all break for lunch and we have quite a bit of time before we have to get back to work or do anything with the animals. We take this time to relax in the sun or do some activities whether it's playing pool or maybe doing a little bit of boxing. It's just whatever anyone wants to do that day. After lunch, we finish off any work that needs to be done, but after that, we get to do something pretty amazing, which is feed all the herbivores. We drive around in a truck, we feed the wildebeest, the giraffes, the zebras. Now, while feeding the herbivores is pretty cool, there's nothing like feeding the predators. Boom! Well, I'm Dagger. I'm from Denmark. Just want to fit all the lions, the predators. There's like different camps, so there's two camps with the wild lions. And we feed them first and then we go to the tigers. When we throw the chickens to the tigers, they jump real high. It's so cool to watch, like they catch the chicken in the air. When we go feed rocks to the hyena, my personal favorite. She has this amazing laugh and she's just so excited to get the chickens. It's amazing to watch, absolutely amazing. On some days we even got to do some predator enrichments where we would go out and find logs and sticks so we can build stick animals basically so that the lions could destroy them. We also got to see the lions chase a leer. My personal favorite was Kai, the male lion. He just marches to the beat of his own drum. He doesn't do what the rest of them do.
One of the days that we were there, we got to visit a puppy shelter. Now all these dogs and puppies were given up for whatever reason. All we knew is that they were in need of a lot of love and affection. And we definitely gave it to them. Besides all the work and all the fun stuff with the animals, we do have free days, like uh, on Thursdays and Sundays, where we're permitted to go on excursions. Personally, I chose to go quad biking. That was pretty amazing. Out here in South Africa, quad biking. Doesn't get better than that. Whenever there's downtime or you're done for the day, most of us like to hang out by the pool and just relax or just have a bunch of fun. I'm on my way now. And now attack. <laughs> See ya. Guys win. One particular day we had a great water balloon fight where everyone got involved and everyone got absolutely drenched. I know I have to be somewhere else to be able to find myself. Should be so complicated. If I listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start over. Now, here comes the sad part, when some of us have to leave. It's pretty hard getting to know all these amazing people for a week. You create such strong bonds, and then you have to see them go. So it's, it's pretty tough saying goodbye. <laughs> Especially when it was my turn. I had been there for two weeks and I had gotten to know so many people. And I had had the time of my life, so when it was time to go, it was pretty sad. You feel like you just want to stay in South Africa forever. Till next time, guys. Now, I just want to say that this experience for me was life-changing. I had an amazing time in South Africa. I had an incredible experience with all the animals from the lions to the tigers to the majestic elephant. I met so many wonderful people with open minds, big hearts. I've always wanted to travel, but I would always put it off saying, oh, I'll do that in the future when I'm older, when I'm more financially secure. But things happened this last year where I almost lost family members. I almost lost my dad. Thankfully, he's still here. It opened my eyes and it made me realize that tomorrow's never promised. So that's why I took this trip to Africa. And you know what? It was the best decision of my life. And I know that I will be going back. If you have a dream of traveling or whatever it is, pursue it. Don't wait because tomorrow is never promised. And I promise if you do what you love, you won't regret it. With that, I'll see you guys next time on MiggyTube TV. Peace.